Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Monica. I try to put out videos every Monday and Friday based on beauty products, beauty reviews, and panning. Today's gonna be just a quick little video. I wanted to go ahead and get together all of my products that I've hit pan on up until this point. Now, I've only recently gotten into project panning, so up until this point, I haven't actually tried or worked towards hitting pan on anything every one of these products i've just happened to hit pan on my first panning project i'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards is going to be my pan that palette for 2018 and that is the mark jacobs lolita palette i have seven products right here that i've actually hit pan on five of them i think are eyeshadows so let's just go ahead and jump into it first thing i have right here is my color pop like z palette kind of thing and i've hit pan on two products that i have in here one is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I got little itty bitty baby pan right there. And this one is the Translucent Sexy Mama Powder from The Balm. And I've hit major pan on that one. I'm actually working on trying to finish this up in the next month or so. The Physician Formula Bronzer has also been like my go-to everyday combination. I've been using these two pretty much every day and I've been reaching for this one more and more as I've seen the pan grow because it was like a little pinprick and it really is satisfying to see like the pan on your products grow. Okay, so this next one comes from the Naked 3 palette and in here I've hit pan on the, the beige cream shade which is called... Oh, it's actually worn off. This one's called Strange. So I've hit a decent amount of pan on that shade right there. And you can see this one is my second favorite in the palette. I've worked a lot with it, but I haven't hit pan on it yet. And the rest haven't gotten as much love. Next, I have another eyeshadow palette. This one is from Too Faced. It is the Natural Eyes 9 Pan Tin Palette. And on this one, again, I've hit pan on the, you know, white cream shade right there. It's a pretty significant amount of pan. I toyed around with the idea of making this my Pan That palette, but I kind of wanted to start with something that didn't have any pan on it and just work on it from there. Next I have another um, Too Faced the Tin Palettes. This one is the Boudoir Eyes. Now this one was actually, this is old as sin. This is the first eyeshadow palette I actually ever bought. It's a long time ago. I think it was 2014. 2014, yes. Because I was in college and I worked a bunch of overtime at, I was working two jobs at the time. So I worked a bunch of overtime at one job and I had like $50 like extra after bills and after grocery shopping and all that stuff. So I went to Sephora for the first time and uh, was actually treated really badly by the employees for the first time I was there. But that's another story. And I actually picked up this and a highlighter. And I actually picked up a highlighter before I even knew like what highlighter was. I was just like, oh, this powder looks really pretty. I had no idea how to use it. I didn't learn how to actually use a highlighter until like two years later and I still had that highlighter. I think I still ha I still have it in my collection. It's over in my highlighter drawer. Anyway, tangent. So this is the first eyeshadow palette I ever bought and I've only hit significant pan on two of the shades. Though all of them have a nice amount of use on them. There's a big dip in satin sheets. This one in the buff, it's almost completely used up. You've got just a little bit left in the corner right over there. And then this one, what is this one called? Sugar Walls, almost completely gone. I also toyed with the idea of making this my Pan That palette, but again, I wanted to start with something that um, I could pan kind of from scratch. Next, I have a Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in the shade Sailor. There we are, so you can see that's pan right there in the middle. I absolutely love this shadow. I actually just bought two backups of this Super Shock Shadow that I still have unopened in my collection. But it really is just like the perfect like sparkly neutral color. You gotta... Okay, I just have two more to go. So this next one was actually really exciting. It's the first highlighter I've ever hit pan on, ever. And it's the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. I've hit a decent amount of pan on the lightning dust shade right there. And I am hoping to hit pan right there where the um, the FB is 
on fire crystal soon. Now, this last eyeshadow palette, I was toying with the idea of even like showing it because after panning a couple of shades and it sitting in my collection for a while and going back to it, I decided to declutter it. So I actually pulled this out of the like the bad bin for my decluttered makeup. But since I did end up hitting a decent amount of pan on two of the shades, I thought I would go ahead and show it. And it's the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. Now I've hit pan on the cream shade right over here and the sparkly shade at the very end. Pan right there. And a decent amount of pan. This one's almost gone. Now as you can see, the rest of the shadows are practically untouched. I found this in my collection again a couple of weeks ago and I brought it out and I thought, you know what, I loved these two shades so much. Let me go ahead and try the rest of the shades. So I brought this out, I tried a few looks, and I ended up hating the rest of the shades. I don't know what it is. I couldn't, no matter what look I created with these shades, it, it, it looked muddy and I couldn't get anything nice. And I feel like the only reason I kept this palette around for so long was for these two shades. This one's practically gone. And for this one, I found like other, not dupes, but other shades that are really similar that you know, I don't need to carry around this whole palette to use. So even though I hit significant pan on this one, I went ahead and decluttered it. So that is everything that I've happened to hit pan on up until this point. I'm excited about project panning up in this upcoming year. I've got a pan that palette that I'm working on, which is the Marc Jacobs Lolita palette. And I am hoping to work on a couple of smaller projects throughout the year as well. So if you would like to go ahead and subscribe and keep your eye out for those, I would greatly appreciate it. I hope if you like this video, you'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I hope I'll see See you in my next video.